Hey guys, Joe the Auto Guy here today to show you how to replace your engine oil and engine oil filter on an 99 to 2005 Pontiac Grand Am with a 3.4 liter V6. As you can see, we have the car clearly supported on jack stands and the front end's off the ground. Okay, when you open your hood, always make sure your hood opens first and that your oil cap is easily removed. Uh, that way you don't actually drain the oil without being able to open the hood if there's any issue there and make your car undrivable. So as you see, this is the intake manifold, this is the engine itself. You're looking for this, which actually says engine oil, and uh, this car recommends 5W30. See the owner's manual if you have any questions, but some people don't have the owner's manual. But obviously, just remove this cap. Engine off, of course. Remove that. And then you have your engine oil dipstick close by. It actually says engine oil on it, and it's usually marked. Pop that up. This allows the engine to breathe a little bit and not create a vacuum as the oil is draining out, make the oil drain slower. So, this is just the easy part. It's also nice to warm your engine up a little bit, but this can be done cold, it just takes longer. Okay, now this current car is a 15 millimeter drain plug. Just gotta loosen that up. As you see, this is the tranny pan, this is the engine oil pan. And never lift the car from this, lift the car from the appropriate subframe. And get it out by hand. And the oil will drain. And uh, sometimes don't forget this rubber o-ring that sits on the drain plug, sometimes it stays on. We just lost that in the oil pan. Okay, when it's down to a, a little tiny drip, you can either let it sit there for quite a long time, or put the plug back in now. That's a slow enough drip where the engine oil is empty. You'll never get all of the engine oil out. <clears throat> During an oil change, so this is sufficient. You can let it drip a little longer. You cannot. It's your choice. Okay, then you're just going to tighten the drain plug back down. And you don't have to make this super tight. Just get it snug and make sure that only is sealed. Um, they're usually about, I mean, 11 to 15 foot pounds of torque on most drain plugs. So you just kind of don't go too far. That's all you need to do. Wipe off any excess oil. And now we're going to do the engine filter. Okay, and you can see our oil filter is actually right up there. We are at the front of the car, near the front bumper. Here's that engine oil pan we were just looking at. There's the tranny pan back there, so we're, this is now the front of the car. And I actually placed the jack stand in the wrong spot. It was actually right in the way where I need the oil pan to be, so. Still have a jack stand over here, still safety conscious. If the car came down on this side, we'll be fine. And uh, they do make strap wrenches and other utensils to get the oil off, but sometimes you can just use your hand. 
twisting it off. And we're just gonna keep spinning it off. Oil is gonna come down the side of the engine. And you're gonna wanna drain your oil filter. And your oil pan. Make sure that this rubber gasket is no, not left behind. Otherwise, if you try to put your other oil filter back on, you're gonna make a mess because it won't seal and oil will spray everywhere. Trust me, I've seen it. Okay, for this car, it is a 3387 or equivalent. I'm using a Fram filter. You can use whatever filter you find for the application that is appropriate for the car. Every Different brand names have different part numbers. So what we want to do is we're actually going to put a little bit of oil on this o-ring so it actually spins on. It doesn't just dry seat. If you dry seat it, it actually can twist this inside and rip the gasket and make it really hard to get off next time. And another thing we're gonna do is uh, I just pop the oil little hole in it. And just to ease the startup process, because what happens when you turn the key to start your engine um, on a first start with changing oil, it actually has to fill this filter up all the way, which happens actually very fast. So this isn't a required step, but it is recommended. And uh, but it fills oil up into the oil filter and back into the engine. So if you add a little bit of oil, it speeds up that process a little bit. And make sure you're not your engine's not without sufficient engine pressure. So I just pour it up once full, right through that center hole. And again, this is not a required step, but if you like your engine, you want to go the extra mile, you can definitely do this. So now with that excess oil that kind of spilled over the top. You wipe that gasket with your finger. Push up through this little rubber guard. And start threading on. Start threading the filter on. And uh, the directions on the oil filter and every other oil filter is once you're tight, one quarter to a three quarter turn, pretty much until you can't turn anymore by hand. Never put a filter on with a wrench. You're just asking for trouble. <laughs> That's seated and we can just wipe off our excess oil spill here. And the emptying of the oil is complete. So now it's time, with it level on the ground, time to fill the engine. Okay, and this particular engine takes four and a half quarts of 5W30 <clears throat> 5W30 oil. The uh, difference here is some of the Grand Ams claim four cords according to your owner's manual. So I always start with four cords if you've never done the oil change before just to check if that's the right amount. Remember we did put a little bit in the oil filter so you guys subtract that from the amount you're pouring in.
down to that last quart. Okay, now we've filled it with oil. Take your funnel out, put the cap on. You'll notice this red oil light. When you first start the car, you're that's going to be on for a couple seconds. You want that to turn off. If it doesn't, you either have not enough oil, a massive leak, or another issue. But basically, that's all. Should turn off within five seconds. And you can see ours is already off. Run for a little bit. So now that you've filled it with oil and test ran it, oil has run through the oil pressure system. Take a dipstick out and wipe it off clean for the first time. Put it back in the tube all the way down. And you see these little crosshatch patterns. There's four. One each actually stands for a quarter of a quart. You can see we're down at the needs half a quart more line. And that's where you start off with four and work your way up to make sure you don't overfill it because you do not want to be over that mark. As you'll have uh, PCV issues and engine vibration issues along with incurring engine damage if you do. Wipe it off, put the dipstick back in your funnel again we need like another half a quart do this in little increments just so you don't overfill it give it a little bit of time to drain down and recheck and you can see need another quarter of a quart 